The death toll climbing in Northern California after a shooting rampage. Just one scene of that shooting, a school. Now officials are saying the latest known victim is the gunman's wife. Part of the investigation, we were looking for his wife. Um, couldn't find her yesterday. We located her dead body uh, concealed under the floor of the residence last night. We believe that's probably what started this whole event. Officials now believe Kevin Jansen Neal killed his wife before fatally shooting four others. And 14 people were hurt, half of them children. The rampage carried out yesterday at a number of locations, including an elementary school. Teachers put the school on lockdown, a move police say saved countless lives. So far, there's no word on a motive. The gunman, who was out on bail for assault at the time, was shot dead by police. Thank you. Hours after the California shooting, Donald Trump tweeted his condolences, but apparently about the wrong mass shooting. Overnight, the president posted, May God be with the people of Sutherland Springs, Texas. The FBI and law enforcement has arrived. The now deleted tweet referenced the November 5th church shooting, a massacre he had already tweeted about. Ah. A rare earthquake rattling South Korea. No deaths or major damage reported, but the quake has prompted school officials to postpone the country's entrance exam by a week, marking the first ever delay because of a natural disaster. The test is taken very seriously in the country. Just to give you an idea, flights are grounded during listening portions of the exam. And new stories of survival coming from the Iran-Iraq border, the site of the deadliest earthquake so far this year. This woman saying she was trapped beneath rubble for 16 hours before she was pulled to safety. She was watching TV at home when the earth started to shake. The powerful magnitude 7.3 quake struck Sunday night, leaving more than 500 people dead and thousands more hurt. And an update about another earthquake, this one in central Mexico. It happened about two months ago, left hundreds dead. We've got a building here, residents just being allowed back today, able to pick up some of their possessions before the building is demolished.